the tarmac of an international airport is supposed to be one of the most secure environments. But last night, a gang armed with suspiciously good information swooped on a Swiss Air passenger plane and pulled off one of the biggest diamond heists in history. This was a very quick hit and run, very well organized. There has been no shooting, there were no injuries. The diamonds were transferred from a Brinks warehouse on the edge of the airfield to the cargo doors of a Zurich-bound aircraft. At that moment, two vehicles carrying up to eight men, one marked as a police van, crashed through the perimeter fence. The men were heavily armed. Within minutes, they cherry-picked the hold and were leaving through the same hole in the fence with over 30 million pounds of diamonds. Police later found a burnt-out van close to the airport where the trail goes cold. But not far from Brussels is Antwerp, where they process and export 80% of the world's rough diamonds. They go to extraordinary lengths here to keep their lifeblood safe. I am frustrated, yes. Why? Because knowing the world we are in, with highly se high security, with terrorism alert, uh, in and out, uh, things like that could happen in a country like Belgium, in Europe, is simply unacceptable. A theft, and as easy as this one, is an embarrassment to the industry's highly polished image. But it's not the first. Ten years ago, almost to the day, an Italian gang walked into this diamond centre behind me, opened 123 of 160 maximum security vaults, and walked away with $100 million in diamonds. The ringleader of that group had worked in this building for almost two years. The lesson being, you can't pull off something like this without detailed insider knowledge. Someone surely knew of the impending transfer. The experts think the gang would have a bio in mind and the stones will almost certainly be recut. In all probability, they've already crossed the border. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Belgium.